Hello, my name is Joshua Odenmark. I'm the CTO and co-founder of Pandio. Um, we're a premier AI orchestration platform. Um, today I want to demonstrate one of the features of our platform. So we use an open source technology called Trino. Um, I'm going to demonstrate that for you today, what it can do. Um, Trino is basically, it used to be known as Presto. They recently changed the name to Trino. But it's, um, it's data virtualization technology, so it can handle querying things like MySQL, Postgres, Snowflake, DynamoDB, and even files in S3. Um, it provides a single sort of SQL interface to query across disparate data sources, so it's pretty fascinating. Additionally, it can query huge amounts of data. And so it basically takes an SQL query that you would write um, and then distributes it to worker nodes. And then you can control how many worker nodes you want to have configured. So this is how you can run sort of ad hoc or analytical queries against petabytes of data. So we're gonna show you in this demonstration how easy that is. So I've open sourced uh, just a real simple set of uh, scripts here. Um, and it all runs in sort of Docker to give a quick overview of um, Trino. <clears throat> I'll put a link to that in the description of this video, but you can feel free to go ahead and clone this yourself and, and run it locally and play with it. Um, so let's get started. So this first script just starts up uh, the necessary services. Um, so just uses Docker and then creates the uh, containers needed to run this demonstration that I'm about to show you today. Um, <clears throat> the two can, technologies that I'm going to show is connecting to Postgres and a MySQL database. And I'm just using a basic uh, Python script to preload some data into those databases about, uh, it, it ends up looking like a, a personal profile, so like someone's name and address and things like that. And we're going to show how you can query across those two um, disparate database technologies with a single SQL query. <clears throat> All right, so we're almost ready to go here. Um, this next script um, is what loads data into these databases, both the MySQL database and the Postgres database. And then it executes a series of queries, uh, SQL queries against those databases. And we'll sort of talk through those. So let's go ahead and run it. So it runs five or six queries here. We'll let them all run and then we'll talk about them. So one last query here and there we are. So let's go back up to the top here and, and sort of look at this. So, so this was the first query executed against Trino. And this is basically just tell me what the actual install of Trino looks like. So you see there's a coordinator. It's kind of like the quarterback of the system and then the worker nodes. So the worker nodes are the things that actually execute the SQL query. And then they bring the results back to, for the requester. Show catalogs. Catalogs is is what sort of defined as the data sources. Um, so you specify your catalogs, which is basically just connection parameters to a data source. So in this case, I've added two, MySQL and Postgres. Um, now I'm going to show the schemas in MySQL. So there's a, a, a dev schema in there. That's where I put that demonstration data. And then the schemas in Postgres, it's inside a public. Um, and so the table is called customers. So here I'm just doing a describe so you can see what the, the schema looks like for that table. And then in the Postgres database, um, doing the same thing. Um, they have a foreign key of ID and then name and address just to show I want to join data from two separate databases. And then the select query is pretty straightforward. We're just grabbing all the fields, nothing fancy here and we're just joining on that foreign key. Um, and that's really it. And so then you'll see what it pulls back here is, does that sort of join for you? And now you can see the name and address field in a single SQL query. 
Um, and this is just an SQL client at the end of the day executing these. So you can use whatever you use today and whatever language you use. You just execute raw SQL against Trino and then it sort of does the rest for you. Um, they also have a CLI tool, which is what I'm using to do this demonstration. Um, but it's really pretty straightforward what Trino can do, but, um, but it's a very powerful thing because being able to query huge amounts of data in place without having to necessarily move it um, or join it into a data lake or data mart or something like that um, just makes it a lot easier to sort of implement or use in an enterprise. And, and for the Pandio platform, it's what powers our, um, our sort of data sets that feed pipelines. Um, so when the pipelines, the data science side of it, it includes the model, the training and the inference and data needs to be fed into that. And so Trino is a fantastic way of, of doing that because it can connect to over 70 different types of databases and flat file systems um, <clears throat> and things like that. So hope you've en enjoyed this demonstration. Um, I'll again link the GitHub repository so that you can download this and play with it locally and, and see what Trino can do. Thank you.